All right, what's good, YouTube? So today we are going to find out who's going to win this stack of cards that I got right here. So we got a bunch of fire type ultra rares, a nice little Entei promo heat factory, and then that Blaziken that I pulled um, out of the packs that I just threw in. So yeah, um, let's get them out, laid out all nicely, the best that I can at least. Oops, out of the shot. Okay, um, first things first, got to give you guys some codes. So let's get this part out of the way. There you go. Good luck on the codes, guys. Um, and we're going to open up some packs. I got the names right here, guys. It was a uh, 170-something names. So I just like to tell you the numbers just to, that way you guys know what your, what your chances at winning are. But yeah, let's get into these packs. I made a bunch of cool pickups this week. I also have some mystery mail from my boy Kyle, so I'm pretty excited to see what's going to be in there. I have no idea, so um, let's see what we can pull out of some packs, though. So first pack, Sword and Shield Base. Didn't get us much, but that's okay. We have a Rebel Clash up next. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Oops, struggling to get the cards out. Rebel Clash, let's get that gold frost moth, man. Let's get it. Yo. Look at that Vulpix. Ew, it's it's like it's risen off of the card, right? Like when I'm feeling it, it's bumpy. I have no idea what that is. Let me know if y'all have seen that before. It looks like mold or something. It's gross. Alright, Diggersby and a Garbodor. We got that, that little error Vulpix, though. I don't know what that was. I'm surprised I caught it, honestly. Darkness Ablaze. We all know what's in this set. The, the OG VMAX Charizard. Before they made him a rainbow and a shiny. Kind of recycled that artwork multiple times. Like the Burning Shadows one, too, though. Here we go. Electrike and a Wigglytuff. So... Not doing so hot on the packs, but that's okay. Here we go. Three packs left. I had to do the McDonald's again. I think I might... Um, as long as they're doing the, the promotion at McDonald's, um, I'll probably stop and get a Happy Meal or two every week just so I have some McDonald's packs to open in the giveaway videos. Here we go. Uh, this is Vivid Voltage. Okay. Galvantula. Ugh. Another Carbador. <laughs> It's a good representation of these poles. Trash. Alright. We do have a Champion's Path pack left. but um, And the last time I opened this set, I hit a Zard first pack. But um, I highly doubt I'll be able to pull another Charizard that soon. Here we go. Oh, right here. Marnie. Okay. Okay. That's pretty rough pulls. But we could hit... A Pikachu holographic from McDonald's. I wonder how much those are going for. They were at like 50 bucks. So I'm going to open it like this. 50 bucks for a, a McDonald's card. We're going to do it like that. I don't like doing pack tricks, but... Ooh, Bulbasaur. Cyndaquil. This is a good pack. Chimchar. Eh. He's cool. And a Sobble. Sobble. Hmm. I think I have this one already. I'm not sure. But hey, that's uh, that's cool. We got a nice little McDonald's promo. That's pretty, probably the best pull out of the whole video. But um, that's okay. Let's find out who's going to win. Here we go, guys. Good luck to everyone. And as always, I'm dropping a brand new giveaway right after this. So be sure to check that out. And let's do this. Grab one in the middle. This week's winner is going to be... Congratulations, Ian Wager. Ian, you won. Congratulations. Hit me up at thezardhunter at gmail. And we will discuss shipping arrangements for all of your cards that you just won. But, uh, yeah. Um... That is going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for uh, entering the giveaway. I appreciate it. But uh, let's get into this week's pickups and mystery mail. So 
this was sent to my sent to me by my boy Kyle. He just hit me up and he was like, "Hey, dude, something's on the way." So um, it got here yesterday. So uh, I was gonna do like a video by itself, but I'm too impatient. I really want to know what's in here. <laughs> so let's see what our boy Kyle sent us. Shouts out to him. I'm thinking it might be a single card, but we'll see. We'll see. Judging by the packaging, that's what I think it is. Okay. Do I have my scissors by me? Oof. I'm looking around. Sorry. Let's see if I can get this open without scissors. I should have had scissors. Okay. We will, we will open it like a caveman, I guess. I apologize. I was not prepared. Okay. There we go. We got it. It, it looks like... Okay, I don't think there's anything else in there. Yeah, there's. this is it. All right, Kyle, what'd you send me? Oh, he sent me two cards. He sent me two cards. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He sent me a Mew Prime. Wow, dude. Wow. That is crazy. Okay, he used the energy card as a way to, to hide. That was smart. That was smart. Dude. Dude. This is like literally one of my favorite Prime cards. And uh, I just I just keep putting off getting it. I've been wanting to get it. I'm glad I didn't because you sent me one. Thank you so much, dude. That is amazing. That is crazy. A Mew Prime. I don't even... I don't even know what these are going for nowadays. Oh, man, that's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Um, yeah, I've been... I, if you, For those that don't know, I've been doing a Prime collection. I'm trying to do a full set, and that is one of the big, big cards that I needed for that set. But, all right, I got some singles. Let me grab these. Okay, so I picked up a couple full arts from the XY era. Look at this Whale Lord. Super sick. One of my favorite full arts from... I, pretty sure this is primal clash if it's not primal clash it's ancient origins but my gut is telling me primal clash but um i've opened a little bit of primal clash and i never pulled this guy so i just bit the bullet and bought him he was seven bucks so it's not too bad for these older full arts and then this guy look at this gengar ex full art from phantom forces i've wanted this card forever as well but just never pulled him you know, um, Phantom Forces packs are very expensive. Like, I want to say they're almost 20 bucks a pop, but last I checked at least. But always wanted this card. Glad that I added it to the collection before it gets too crazy in price. But this Lugia is pretty fire. It's the Pokey Park, which says Pokey Park right there. It's the Pokey Park promo. Um, they didn't make this in, in English, but, um, I like Lugia, I collect Lugia, so, um, pick this guy up, so. And then this last one, so, um, I already had one, alright, but, um, I didn't have a double, <laughs> and the reason why I like to have doubles of Rainbow Rare Charizards is, um, if I ever get lucky enough to, like, go to a signing event or something like that. I like to have two copies so I could get one signed and leave one unsigned, if that makes sense. And for those that don't know, the person that did this artwork is the same person that did the uh, did the base set Charizard artwork. Mitsuhira Arita. I don't, I'm probably saying his name wrong. I'm probably horrible at pronouncing it. But same guy that did the base set Charizard did this one. And I don't know, I picked up a second one. If I ever get lucky enough to like go to a signing event and get him to sign one of these, that'd be super sick and then get it graded and yeah. So think that, oh wait, wait, I have a couple more little things to show you guys. I'm still tripping about that new prime. Um, my wife got me some gifts and it's Charizard related. So I figured I'd show it on the channel. She got me one of these, the uh, Charizard Amiibo. So super sick. These came out like couple years ago and uh i never grabbed one but shouts out to my wife because this is uh gonna go on my shelf as well as one of these 
Man, I don't know why I didn't already have one of these. I mean, I had one as a kid, but I don't know what happened to it. That was a long time ago, and honestly, most of the things that I had as a child, um, they're long gone, you know, just, it is what it is. As time goes on, you, you lose things, but it is the BK Charizard, the little gold, gold card, everybody would thought that was worth like a ton of money they're they're they still have value but uh they're not worth as much as some people think but yep still sealed in there so that's pretty cool another shelf piece but yeah i think that's gonna do it um thank you guys so much for checking out the video let me know what y'all think of this week's pickups shouts out to kyle for sending me a mew prime that's crazy i'm still still tripping about that but uh yeah just make sure to check out the next giveaway video. It's probably already up. So um, go ahead and get in there and get your entry in so that you're good to go for next week. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.